Alrighty, this is my review for the Resident Evil 2 William Birkin uh, figure, and I do believe this is G2. I think there's four G's overall. Uh, I used to have um, the one where it was the uh, G3 and G4, yeah, you could change it out, but uh, it just it got pretty destroyed over time, sadly, so I just got rid of it. But I've had this for a long time. Uh, I don't have the box because I actually got this uh, used at Vintage Stock. I think I'm like my like 17th birthday. So my brother gave me like 30 bucks to go buy it. And it came with a little Sherry Birkin. Uh, I don't know where she is, honestly. Uh, I just, you know, like I said, I've had it for so long that I just kind of lost it. But overall, the figure itself, when I got it used, nothing was really damaged and nothing was, like, messed up as far as I can tell. So I'm just going to do, like, a little spin around and then talk about some of the details and stuff. Alright, so this figure is, like I said, is based off the G2 transformation. And so the first transformation, he kind of had this body, but overall, he had the head right there. And then you could kind of see the new head coming in. But now it's his old arm, his human arm, right there, which is turning into a monster arm in his old face. Now turning into a weird, monstrous face. My god, is that creepy, but also really well done at the same time. Then his new face. You can see like like messed up, distorted teeth, but also ripped flesh and skeleton forming. He's even got the brain. See the spine. And a lot of the main thing about this creature is the eyeballs. Like seriously, he's got an eyeball on his back. Got an eyeball on his arm, eyeball on his chest, with two eyeballs in his head, the other eyeballs right there. I'm surprised he doesn't have eyeballs in his leg. But yeah, his legs, his pants are torn, you know, his uh, scientist lab coat barely on there now. No skin left, just meat, exposed f veins. Oh man. See some human skin left in the shoe. Got one shoe left. Yeah, I thought this was really weird. I thought this was something not intended, but looks like he has fake cloth, I guess, to represent the coat, which I don't know why they didn't do it anywhere else, but for some reason they did it just on the arm. And the best part about this is his right arm. The I like to call it the tyrant arm, because most tyrants have those kind of arms in the game. You can actually move this... I don't, I wouldn't say 360, but basically all the way. Mine sounds kind of rickety and old. You can move, you can bend this arm like that. Legs, don't bend at the knees, but you can kind of move them. Just like that. And then he's got the, oh yeah, I guess it is five. Five basically talons for fingers. And all this nasty meat and veins. Palm. Pure claws. And whenever you fight anything like this in any of the games, the tyrants, whatever, God, this is the worst thing is when they just swing at you and just bam, take all your health. And he's got the infamous eyeball, which the when they use the G virus in the Resident Evil Degeneration, the guy in that movie has the same thing. He has an eyeball on his arm. What's cool about this figure? is you can actually move the eyeball somewhat and I thought that was pretty cool pretty cool what it is is back here is just this knob and all these little slots that you can move it into on this figure I don't know if it's because it's used or what it's just a little hard to do that 
Yeah, you can't. I, I, you definitely can't really pose with this guy, mainly because his head doesn't move, and you know, like I said, his, you know, his legs. Oh, you know, like he's running maybe, but that's about it. So I usually just keep everything, just you know, standing still. I would like to, you know, maybe do something cool like that, but can't really do it. Best thing is just leave him standing and maybe position if his hands kind of faced more open or more like closed. I personally just kind of keep it open like that. And it gives it that nice, whoops, nice look. And he does stand very well on his own. For a top heavy figure, you, I was surprised. Which is nice because I hate having to lean figures on the wall or on another figure. So that's going to be about it for this review. Like I said, I got this uh, in store at you know Vintage Dog for about $30. I don't really know how much it costs online. But, oh yeah, another thing I forgot to point out. You see three claws coming out because it's the new arm because it's two arms right here and then these turn into the big arms and then it has the arms in the back so yeah no I think these arms become the back arms and then these become the two new huge arms but yeah definitely worth a buy if you can find it uh, if you're a fan of Resident Evil especially the monsters god definitely go buy this I'm so glad I have this on my shelf and I would hope that you can find it for a cheap price. If you do, go get it definitely right away. All right, thanks for watching.